What's up, everybody? If you don't know by now, it's Ion Mitch. I had to do this with the shooting in Connecticut. I had to do this a few times before on some videos that I took down. Why do y'all keep making me come up here and do this? Why? I don't like coming up here and talking about the camera, talking to the camera, being serious. I don't like doing this. You guys make me do this with the way the world is out there. All I'm saying is, as I look out into the sky, all I can really say is that you know the end of the days is near. And that's something that nobody really wants to hear, because you ain't trying to see that day yet. You, you, you pray, you worship, and you believe in the hopes that you will be one of the favorites on that day. But nobody really wants to see that day. But what other explanation is going on for what people are doing outside? What other explanation do you have? I don't have any. First of all, we need to get the youth straight, y'all. Let's get this straight. What, I'm, what I want to talk about, really, my main topic of this video is being different. Ain't nothing wrong with being different. Ain't nothing wrong with being original and individual. But of course, here comes the world, here comes the media, here comes all this judgment coming towards you by everything but God, causing you to lose your own sight of your own style, your own personality, how you do yourself. You lose sight of all that trying to please everyone else around you. That is not how you're supposed to live. You live for today and then tomorrow live again. I am Mitch. Let me let me let me explain what made me do this. What made me start this? Uh, as a child, as I'm sure every other child has had their own favorite article of clothing. Maybe it's a pair of shoes that you like to wear all the time. A nice shirt with your favorite cartoon character that you always like to wear. So maybe a hat, a fitted, or a snapback that you used to rock all the time. Maybe it was some pair of gloves, Michael Jackson. I don't, I mean I don't know. I guess it's something. It's, it's one article, article of clothing that everybody had as a child that you loved to wear. And you wore it all the time. As a child, my mom didn't like that. She didn't like it because she said it made you look poor. People know you got other shoes. And even if they, even if they didn't and they did think you were poor, what does it matter to them? It don't affect them at all. Neither does it affect you what other people think about you. I don't care if people think I'm poor, rich, famous, uh, normal. I don't care. It's me. At the end of the day, no matter what you think about me, whether you love me or you hate me, whether you think I'm poor or you think I'm rich, whether you think I'm, I'm mean, whether you think I'm nice, it does not affect my life at all. Think whatever you want about me. I'm just going to let you know that now. I don't care. And that's how everybody else should feel. Nobody should have to be, nobody should have to feel some type of way, dress some type of way, act some type of way, just because you don't want anybody else judging you. That's stupid to me. That's not living life. That's not enjoying life. How can you enjoy life if you're living by other people's standards? I don't get that. How do you live by someone else's standards and live your life happily? Then some people want to say, well, that's how America is nowadays, bro. We're living by the president's standards. Government got us in check. Congress takes over everything that we want. So I guess that that's how we all live, right? Until the government walks in my house and tells me I have to wear a blue shirt or I'm going to jail, I don't care what the government has to say. As far as what I'm saying is how you live in your life individually. Now, this morning, yo 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 had a play. I didn't get to film it, and that was my fault. There was really nothing stopping me from filming it. I, I just didn't, I didn't want to interrupt anything. I didn't want to miss my parts and all that, so I couldn't film it. I'm sorry, you guys. Hopefully, somebody had some kind of footage that I can use, so maybe you can see it. And I didn't have my camera afterwards, so you couldn't see none of the after shots. But if you look at the vlog, you do see I was working on it. So, um, this morning, at church, we're supposed to wear uh, white shirts and blue jeans. Now, in the play, I play a bad guy. So I said, I'm going to fit the part. I wore me some black jeans. I got the Tims on. And I got a nice shirt, with a, a nice rockwear shirt, white with a black R in the front of it. 
My mother apparently had a problem with this, as she did when I was younger, because I'm standing out. I'm different. Everybody's going to think I'm crazy because I'm wearing black jeans. You see how that sounds now? Everybody's going to be looking at you because you're not dressed like everybody else. First of all, this is just a man. Just so you guys can get a clearer picture. This is just the men wearing blue jeans and white shirts. It's 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 men's day. Men are wearing this. Some of the men didn't even do that. Some of them came in suits anyway. The women are all dressed up as they normally are because they didn't get to dress up. So with all this in mix, who's really looking at me? First of all, is what I want to get past to your mind. Nobody's looking at me. Don't nobody care. Even if they did, they don't care. Who stops in their day and goes, oh my God, look what I am, Mitch got on. Nobody does that yet. I say yet because I'm hoping one day I will get to the point where everybody care about what I'm doing. But maybe I'll regret that remark in a few years. But hmm. I want to talk to my younger viewers who may not have their life straight. Or maybe if you're even older and you, you, you trying to figure out the key to happiness. The key to happiness is ending other people's reign in your life. What I'm trying to tell you is that you don't have to live by other people's standards. You don't have to worry about what other people say. And that feels stupid up here talking about this because this is basic. This is something you should know. Why, why do I have to make a video about this? Nobody should have to tell you to live your life the way you want to. Nobody should have to tell you, live your own life and don't worry about anybody else because they got their own lives to handle. Nobody should have to tell you that. You should know that. No matter what anybody's saying about you, what if somebody laughing at you or not, it doesn't matter. It don't affect your life one bit. At the end, at the end of the day, if you losing sleep because somebody else is making fun of you, is, t is caring about what you say, is caring about what you think, and is caring about what you do, then I'm, I just feel sorry for you. Basically... Well, I'm trying to tell you I don't want to make this video long. Lord, please don't make this video long. Be yourself. Don't try to amount to anybody but your standards. You decide what happens in your life. You are your own master. You... Oh my God, I just sound, I just sound like a kindergarten motivational speaker, people. Be your own person. Why are you caring about what these other girls are saying about you, lady? Why are you worrying about what them boys down at the block saying about you, bro? Just worry about yourself. They got their own problems and their own life to handle. They need to be worrying about them while you trying to worry about yours. If you worrying about them and they worrying about you, who's handling the problems here? Everybody got problems. Everybody broke. Everybody's in debt. And it don't matter because everybody cares about each other. So it, does, it doesn't work that way. You work on yourself, and if they still looking at you, let them look. Because when you got your problems all handled and you living good, you feeling good, guess where they gonna be? Sitting right at you hating. Now it's not just, now it's not just them, just them making fun of you anymore. Now it's hate. Now they got a reason to do that. Because they broke and you not. Because you solved your problems. Because you took care of your life. Because you did what you had to do. So all I'm trying to say is don't worry about what other people say. Live your life. Be different. You don't have to blend in with the crowd. Leaders are not mistaken for followers. You don't have to be you don't have to blend into the crowd, man. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to you don't have to think it's a bad thing to be different. It's not a bad thing to stick out. That's what that's what I was that's what I wanted to say to my mama, but of course you can't say this kind of stuff. If when you start making sense, they don't want to hear. You know, you can talk foolish all you want to, but all they do is check you and then keep on going. But when you start making sense, then they mad. So I, that's all I'm trying to say, is that it don't matter what people think about you. Be yourself. Stick out. Don't worry about it. Because most of the time, most of your famous people that you see nowadays, uh, Will Smith, uh, Lil Wayne, think about it, Drake, think about these people, Nicki Minaj. How are they famous? They stick out. They don't look like the other rappers. They don't act the same. Therefore, 
they become known because they are showing themselves as leaders and not followers. They're putting off the kind of vibe that they want to put out to the crowd. And that's the kind of vibe I want to put out to you guys. If there's ever anything that I am it just taught you, it is be yourself. Be different. Don't be afraid to be a leader. I feel like I'm in front of a Pentecostal. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to say anymore because Frankly, I had a lot on my, a lot more on my mind that I needed to say, and it's probably a bad idea because y'all probably gonna make me get up here and do another one of these. But I'm gonna leave it alone, and I'm gonna go in the house where it's cool, take me a little nappy nap, wake up, eat me some because I ain't ate all day, drink a little something something after that, and then I'm gonna deal with myself, handling my own problems and not worrying about nobody else. This is Ayo Mitch. If you like, please subscribe. If you didn't subscribe, then subscribe. If you if you didn't like, then you know, subscribe anyway. Because you probably one of the people that like to look. Just worry about yourself, don't worry about others. Work on you, be different, be a follower, be individual, be original. Be original. This is Ion Mitch. I'm out, guys. I almost forgot you guys. You see the shirt I got on right now? Say Mafia. They got my URL from the YouTube on the back. This isn't the design that I'm selling, but if you go on my Facebook, the design that I'm selling is on my fan page. Now, on my fan page, you can order these, but they're $23. I'm just going to tell you right now, they're $23. They're $23. If you want you some, you need to inbox your cutie on YouTube or Facebook and tell me, yo, I want one of the Mafia shirts. Your cutie gonna hit you up with some information that you can give him your money on. And I got the way. So y'all, this is a pre-order, so please know that you gotta be patient. I'm gonna use your money because the shirts are $23, free shipping, all that. So that means that all your money is going towards the shirt, and I'm not getting nothing out of this. I'm just giving the shirts away, basically. I'm delivering shirts to you guys. You just order them from me. So basically, I get no money out of this at all. You get the shirts. The money goes to the people who make the shirts. I don't get nothing in that equation but your promotion from the shirts. So if you want a shirt, let me look at it again. Here's the bomb. The bomb smoking a cigar. People say it's a blunt, but I'm going to say it's a cigar because you can't go walk in church with a bomb smoking a blunt. Mafia. That's the team. If you ain't repping the Mafia, then you're not original. That's what the Mafia is. We're a team of original dreamers. And like I said, the YouTube URL, when people see the shirt, you turn around and say, you know what it is. If you want one of these shirts, inbox me on YouTube, comment on this video, or go to my page, like my Facebook fan page, and inbox me there and say, Mitch, I got $23. I really want to have one of them shirts. Tell me your shirt size. Tell me where you live. Give me all your mailing information. And I'm going to hook you up. So, with that being said, I got to talk to my baby girl. I'm out.